Hi, this is Mark Burley and in this video tutorial I'll be showing you some of the main features of the LiveScribe desktop. This is the software that accompanies the LiveScribe Smart Pen. So in particular I'll be showing you how to use the LiveScribe desktop to browse through your notes, categorize your notes into separate folders, the search capability to search for keywords in your notes. This would be an excellent tool for revision purposes. And finally, creating a PDF document of your notes with the audio included. So prior to this, I just want to give you a brief overview view of the LiveScribe Smart Pen. So in a typical situation where a student has the Smart Pen, they would use it like a normal pen in taking notes in a lecture. And at the end of each day, ideally, the student would connect the Smart Pen to their computer and the LiveScribe desktop would automatically transfer the notes from the smart pen onto the computer. So from there I'm just going to show you the features now of the LiveScribe desktop once the notes have been transferred over. So the first feature I want to go through would be the browsing feature, just simply how to browse through your notes. So on the left hand corner of the LiveScribe desktop you will find the active notebooks and in this particular case I have used two active notebooks for, with my LiveScribe uh, Smart Pen. So the first I've used up completely, 154 pages, and the current notebook, Notebook 2, I'm currently at 25 pages. So in order to browse through the notes you just simply click on the notebook, Notebook 2, and here are the notes for that particular notebook and it's a simple case of clicking on to separate pages and you can browse that way. Now in one particular sample I've used the Smart Pen to provide one-to-one -one tuition for a student studying uh, Java programming and here's a sample of it. So it's a case, simple case of clicking anywhere on the notes to listen back to the lesson. Object oriented program. Your the rule is work towards a design. But like everyone actually starting off, and including myself, people tend to work towards an implementation. So that's one example, just jumping onto another page. So here's another example. So primitive, yes. Ints are primitive, but is an array of ints primitive? I don't think so, no. What is it? I don't know what the terminology is for it. It's an object. Object, yes. It's pretty good. So that's an excellent example of student-teacher interaction where the student would receive a copy of the notes at the end of the lesson with the audio interaction included. Essentially capturing 100% of the lesson as opposed to the traditional method of note taking. So the second feature I want to go over is the feature of categorizing the notes. So the student would go into their notes and initially you would have each note, each page would be in sequential order, so it's essential and highly recommended to categorize the notes, as I said, into particular folders. So, for instance, if I wanted to categorize pages one, pages five, six, and seven, I know they are from a particular class, so I want to place them into a folder with the title of that class. So I've highlighted them by keeping the control button on the keyboard pressed down and left clicking and then I simply right click and press the add to custom notebook button and the just might take a few seconds to load up so here are my current list of folders if you haven't created a custom notebook from the start you would just simply press create notebook so in this instance I'm going to place those selected notes into my 
Java folder and then I press done and I simply go over to the custom notebooks list and double click on my Java folder and here are my notes for Java with the appended new notes for the current day added on to the end so that's that feature now the next feature I'm going to show you is the search feature which is really an excellent tool for students in revising for an exam situation so if I click on an arbitrary notebook for instance my previous notebook which was 145 and I go to highlight if I want to search through those notes I would simply enter the keyword search here at the top right hand corner so let me see if I want to type in Java or maybe if I type in dragon press enter if we go over to the left hand side dragon searches through your notes and finds everywhere in your notes where you wrote the keyword dragon there's a sample and you can simply click on the the notes again now this would be an excellent tool for instance in a situation where a lecturer is recommending that a class studies for a particular topic at the end of the year for the end of the year exam so essentially a student would enter the keyword into the notes provided they've used the LiveScribe smart pen for the entire year and you would essentially get your notes condensed down for that particular topic so it's really an excellent tool for revision purposes now finally the fourth feature I want to show you is the feature where one can export the LiveScribe notes into a PDF document with the audio included so it's a very simple process if we go back to a sample note for instance if we go back to page 12 here if I want to incorporate this into a PDF I simply right click the notes send page 12 to computer and it essentially will convert the notes into a PDF with audio included now you have the options of pages with audio which is what I'm going to do pages only or audio only so there's your options press continue and the LiveScribe desktop will convert the notes it usually can take a certain amount of time to do that depending on the amount of notes that you're converting so you can convert multiple pages and I'm going to save this to the desktop I'm going to call it Java lesson press save and let's look and see the end result so here it is up at the top here to open it now initially when one would open the lesson in the PDF it may take a while to load up in some circumstances it can crash as it has done here it's just important to open it again and here are the notes and as I said in PDF so I have Acrobat Pro here, it doesn't really matter, you can have the reader. Now one extra thing I would recommend is that you include the include the plugin for the flash feature of Adobe Reader. And again it's the same principle of pressing the Inside play process. Yes. Ints are primitive, but is an array of ints primitive? So there we go, there's my notes. So where would this be useful? Well, it would be useful in a situation where a lecturer or a teacher 
is providing supplementary notes to a class. Let's consider a scenario where a teacher is finding a certain topic or subtopic that a class is finding difficult. So the student, the teacher could provide a PDF to the class and also in this particular situation the one-to-one -one tuition as I've demonstrated to you here it's an excellent tool where at the end of the lesson the student can take away the notes with them with the audio included so thank you for watching